Hello, and thank you so much for joining this self-publishing class. You might be wondering if you can simply create your book cover in Microsoft Word. And the answer is yes, the front-facing panel you can, but not really the back. So let's take a look at how to create the front face of your book cover using Microsoft Word. So we have already opened a new blank document. You want to check the page settings because the dimensions of your page for this Microsoft Word document need to match that of your book size. So let's check that. Let's go under Layout, Margins, Custom Margins, go under Paper. Mine is already set to 6x9 and because my book size is 6x9. If you need to select your size right here under Paper Size, click that down arrow. If you don't see options for your page size, click Custom Size and type in the dimensions. So if you're doing five by eight, then you would simply type in the dimensions for that. But let's go back to six by nine and click OK. Now you have a six by nine page to work with. Let's go ahead and put some design elements on our page. Click Insert, Shapes. I'm using a rectangle shape, so I'm clicking it. Draw the rectangle. And let it go when you have sized it. I don't want an outline, so click Shape Outline. Click None. That gives you a flat shape. I want to change the color. Click Shape Fill. You can choose any of these colors, or I like to choose more fill colors because I can choose exactly which color I want to use. You can click through these colors here if you want to choose your color. I happen to know the RGB numbers for the color that I want. Once you get the colors in there and you can see under new what it's going to look like, click OK. If you wanted to make it dark or lighter, you could have done that there as well, but I'm satisfied with this. So this is going to be the panel where I put my book title. This is going to be the panel where I put my book title. Let's go ahead and get a photo in here. Click insert, pictures, this device, and I'm choosing this photo, click Insert. Now you'll need to size this so that it fits the size of the page. If you try to move it, it seems to be locked and you're not able to move it. Double click it, click Position, choose a position, I'm choosing Middle Center, and this will allow you to move it wherever you need to move it. Hold down the shift key and drag it until this image meets the other side of the page. It looks like I might need to make this a little smaller in order to make it work and to give my photo more space. Hold down the shift key and drag the image downward. It's a little too big, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and it fills the page just fine. We just don't need that second page, right? So it made a second page because it was like, hey, you're getting too close to the edge of this page, which is okay, right? Because what we can do now is to click insert again, shape, rectangle, and you're going to add a space where you put your name, where you put the author's name. So same technique as before when we made the top rectangle.
and I was simply adjusting as necessary. So now let's go ahead and type in the title of the book. So in order to get your writing in there inside of this uh, shape, double click the shape and then begin to type. Let's go back to the home menu and revise our font this way. That's getting a little big. If you don't see the font size you want, you can just go ahead and highlight it and click in what you want. I'm putting in 60 points and hitting enter. All right, that will fit within the margins. And just put your, auth your name or the author's name of the book. You can see how small it is. Let's highlight it. I want to choose another font that looks good with the top font that I use. So I'm just choosing Arial. I'm going to make that bold. Okay, so very quickly, you have an image here that you can possibly use as your book cover. Now we're good to go. Let's save it. Click Browse to save it to your desktop or to a folder. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. It's already called MS Test. I'm going to add another character. So we have saved our Microsoft Word document. Now you need to convert it to Adobe Acrobat. Under Preferences, Make sure conversion settings says high quality print. You can click the down arrow for all of these options, but make sure it says high quality print. Click OK. And click Create PDF. We now have a PDF document. Very good. We now need to convert this PDF document to a JPEG, an image file, so that you can use it for your cover. Let's click File, Export to, Image, JPEG. Again, save it down. Click Save. So you now have a JPEG. Let's open it in Photoshop. Notice that here is the template that you downloaded from Lulu because you have to complete your book and then it will generate a template for you based on the number of pages and the size of your book. So if you make changes to your manuscript, you have to go back and generate a new cover and make changes to the cover to make sure that that cover still fits. So we have this open already, so you're going to open your template. Let's do file open and get our picture in here. Click open. Click control J to make a copy that we can move. So choose your move tool, control J, window, arrange. And if you've watched my earlier tutorials, then you've seen this process before. Take this image, click and drag it. Right click the title bar, click consolidate all to here so that you have this one window that you're dealing with. And now with that move tool, you are going to resize this in accordance with your template. So click Control T and drag it and move it until you feel this front panel of your template. Here 
hit enter, and you've sized it. You cannot create a spine in Microsoft Word. You have to do that here. I do not suggest that you try to make your back cover in Microsoft Word because you have to create it within the confines of this white area. Anything here in the blue will get cut off. So you have to make sure that your back cover elements are right there. But let's click layers. You still need a back cover, a color for that back cover. So we're gonna use rectangle again. Basically, we need to cover this area that says uh, with the template information on there because you do not want that to print. You can change the color again. You can go under layers, click the layer with the rectangle, double click it and the color picker dialog box will open. You can change it to any color. I kind of like that, so I'm gonna keep it. Click OK. Get that completely covering the template. Click Control T. Make that invisible for a second. And you're gonna use guides so that you'll know where to put the information. So I'm putting guides just inside the white area so that I'll know where to put my cover elements. So now if you make this visible again, you know where you can put certain elements. Your barcode, what I do is to go ahead and put my barcode in first so that I already have that there. And you just put it right here in that area. You can put any other back cover elements on here. You can put any other back cover elements on here. Some common ones are a book summary. So I have that as a Microsoft Word document. Copy and paste it. Take the text tool, draw a box, just click and drag it, and that's a big text box, and let it go. The font is way too big, that's why the text box was big. Let's click a more normal sized font, click Control V, hit Enter, double click your text layer. You can't see it because it has come in the same color as the background. <laughs> So you need to make it a color that you can actually see. So we'll make it white. What the new version of Microsoft, the new version of Adobe Photoshop does is that it automatically puts in that placement text. So you have to take it out. And I'm doing this because previously I did not show you how to put text on the cover. So now you can see that it can take you a little bit to get all these elements together. Double click it because we need to size it within those bounding boxes. I want it left, not centered. You're going to have to make it smaller so that it fits within your guides. Let's change it to a font size that will fit. I always use trusty Arial because it's clear and clean and every computer system can read it. Just keep resizing it until you get it within your guides. I'm using a little bounding boxes here to click it and drag it. Hit control zero so that you can see the full screen and drag that all the way up. Hit enter. So that's how you put text in there and hit the move tool so you can move it around so that you get it in there correctly. You can add your author bio, your photo, whatever you wanna put in here. Okay, so this is how you can start in Microsoft Word and create a cover 
that you can use for your book. Okay, hopefully this tutorial has been really helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and happy publishing.